recognising the Irish defensive effort there and the respect coming from that in that Sansus opted to put the ball over the top rather than continue to play through the hands but Ireland have been caught holding on it needed to be better communication back off blue says referee Barrett Teron and Ireland will make the most of it Riley has a little look herself and nearly gets the chance to go Not the tidiest but Ireland are going to continue to play with it and Higgins is just going to break straight through the middle Oh, Eve Higgins! Ireland go for five in the line-out. Friday helps Monaghan, but it wasn't straight. Friday makes the call. It's a dummy to the front. At the end, it'll all go to the middle. But Gaella may will play it, and what she played in the air by Ireland, either way. That's nice over the top, though. Good work from McMahon to find Jones, and she's not held, so she can keep going. Nearly caught at fault on the turnover. Ball bounces off the field for Monaghan. Oh, lovely offload to the right, and Murphy Crow has found a way through here. Emily Murphy Crow with an awful lot of work to do with seven or eight blue shirts around her. This cat, this step on the outside of San Zeus. Ball in two hands. Oh, she's looking for the offload. In again. Haney's looked good since she's been on. Riley. Away for Cronin. Composure, the order of the day here. Flood. Drew the pass. Gets it away for Higgins. Eve Higgins will score Ireland's try. And it's fully deserving. It was really solid work. Seems the moments that Ireland are making those key yards and setting up those key rocks is coming from the likes of June Gang with a massive hit on Higgins. Cronin. And then now Ireland have found a bit of room to try and send Mulhall away, who will be looking for the support lines. Monaghan is there. France with a big shove. Ireland need to try and use this, but they're not going to get the opportunity. It's back on the blue side. Sansus running at the Irish defence. It's a lovely miss pass to find Philippon. Surprised how wide the halfbacks are given the nature of this scrum. They're likely to be under a massive amount of pressure. Ireland know they have to use it. Penalty advantage was already coming to France. Must hit and lock out Ireland. They've got to take this pressure. It goes to ground. I think Amy Barrett Theron would rather they just play, which Ireland do. I don't know what the French word for marmalise is. Ireland get the penalty. 